All right, guys, I'm here to talk about probably the coolest shave brush that I've come across. Uh, it started when I saw some of the original rubber set brushes, those aluminum brushes with the scallop handles, and I was looking at those, and you know they're old, they're made quite a, quite, a, quite a while ago, and I, I had thought about getting them, and I saw that they were available, but then I saw a guy on Facebook that was selling some, and these things he made, or he had them made, but the thing that interested me is when I looked at them, I could tell they weren't your typical rubber sets. Number one, these things were machined from billet aluminum. Um, the old ones are forged. Uh, I'm sorry, they're, uh, they're, they're cast. They're, they're poured in a, in a mold, you know, aluminum. These ones are start from a piece of billet, which is forged aluminum, and then they're machined on CNC machines. He has a, he has a place that he machines them. This guy, the guy's name is Steve, Steve Tinter. Uh, he's, a, he's a Brit, and he lives in China, and he has a place that makes these for him. They have the machine shop that does all of this stuff up. So... Um, when I saw this thing, I ordered it, I paid with it, paid for it with my own money, and this is the brush. Okay, so just hang with me here, guys. So this is the brush here. This is it. And what's really cool about this is that it will come apart. This head, or what's called the ferrule, which holds the brush, and this are two separate pieces. They have this little red o-ring on there. I think that's just for looks. But you can see that's machined. And then the inside of the, the ferrule hair is machined. Screws on there. And of course it's a perfect fit because it's machined billet aluminum. It's the stuff that they use to make like the pulley systems on those really fine custom cars like the Foos cars and all that stuff. That's what this stuff is made out of. Um, but anyway, uh, the, what the, the ferrule is it's this this piece, but it has a, a base plate in it, the plate in it, and this is this goes up inside there, and that's what you set the knot on. So when I got it, when he sent this to me, uh, I what I noticed was that the the loft, the the this thing was sticking up too high. All right, it was kind of too mushy for me. So that's what I put the the rubber band on there for. But as I looked at it and I looked at the design of this thing. I thought, you know, if this plate is screwed to the inside of this, then that plate should turn, or the base plate should turn, and you should be able to thread that knot further down in the ferrule to lower the loft or less loft and make this thing stiff. And I asked him, I said, well, how did you, how did you set the knot in there? He said, well, I set the base plate at the height that I thought it should be, then I put the epoxy in and I just smushed it down in there. Well, when you do that, you bung up the threads on there, so now the... The, the plate is locked. So I said to him, I said, well, why don't you just take the, the knot and glue it onto the base plate outside of the ferrule? Just do it, you know, on your workbench. And he says, well, I never thought about that. I said, well, if you do that, then you can take the, the plate and screw it up and down in the ferrule, in ferrule and you'll have a real-time live adjustable um, uh, uh, um, knot on there, okay? So what I did is I, I took and I, I scored the bottom of the, the knot, and I scored the bottom of the plate when I did it, and I took a piece of um, tape and I put it around the threads, and I put the, the epoxy in there, and I set it on there, and I let it set overnight. And so when I... When it was glued, so this is what you have. This is threaded in there, but watch what happens now. Can you see that turn? So what it is, it's a real-time adjustable loft on the knot. Let me just take and turn this out all the way. Now you can see it's pretty big. You know, pretty long, and it'll be it'll be mushy. But say if you want it tighter that day, well, all you got to do is tighten that thing up. Now you have a pretty tight knot. Why would you want to adjust the loft? Well, for a couple of reasons. Number one, the 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 brush can soften up over time. I have a brush that started out real nice, but now it's too mushy. But I can't really do anything with it at this point. And also, you may have different types of soaps. If you have a cream, you want something pretty soft. Maybe you want more loft on it. You, 
you thread it out. Or if you have, say, a harder soap, say like a Martin de Condre or something, and you want, and you want to be able to really get in there and dig on it a little bit, you want your brush, you want, you're going to want to have your brush harder. Uh, uh, come on. There you go. Put it on there. And you can do this while you're shaving, all right? So you just tighten it up, thread it, unthread it, move it up or down. All right, but it gets better, all right? So as I looked at this, and as I was shaving, I said to him, I said, do you make other handles for it? He said, well, I, I make handles, different handles. I said, yeah, but does it have the same thread on top here that I can screw it into the ferrules and, and the knots that I already have, like a modular system? You know, you can take and pick and choose. And he said, well, no, he says the other handles I have don't have the same thread on there. And I said, well, why not? <laughs> and he said, well, I guess I never thought about that. But I did. All right. So what I wanted to do is get a different handle made, but still had that thread on it. And I was thinking, well, I'd have to have somebody, you know, who has a CNC machine thread that. But then I thought about it. And I realized that the thread on this plate that fits inside that ferrule is the same thread as this. All right, so that means I could take this plate and I could screw that on to another handle and the ferrule would then screw onto that. All right, you follow? Okay, so what I did is I called him up and I said, send me a bunch of these, all right? So when I got them, what I did is I took and I drilled the center of those and I put a little countersink on it. And then I had a friend turn some wood handles for me. And I had to make sure that the, that the, the base of the handle was the same diameter as this ferrule. So I sent that to him. And this is what I got. This is some wood. This is some laminated wood, but you can see I took and I screwed the handle on there. Uh, let's see. Here's another one. Here's a really nice one. Look at this. Look at the handle. I put this on here. Okay. Gets better. Look at this, dude. That one's really nice. I mean, you can use anything, any kind of wood you want on there, but as long as you have this base plate, which he said he's going to start selling, which are already center drilled and countersunk, um, It'd be better if he did them, because even though, you know, I took and I punched the center of that piece, and then I went to drill, the drill still wandered, and they're still not perfectly on center. So if he could do that on a CNC machine, that would be even better. Um, but yeah, okay, so we have the handle. We have the ferrule. Voila, totally modular unit. I can, I have a bunch of different handles. I have a bunch of different knots that are, by the way, that are real-time adjustable. But this one is actually pretty cool. Here's one my friend made for me. This is a smaller one. These are my high mountain white not, uh, high mountain white knots in there. But check this out. Here's one that I did. I thought this one turned out very cool. I just took and I painted that one black and I put the black synthetic knot on there. How cool is that, huh? Look at this. There's another one. There's another one, and I have all of these, these knots that I can take and put on there. You can get as many knots as you want, and you know, all the, all the different ferrules. And if someone, you know someone that can take and turn them for you, as long as they have the, the width of this part right, just to, to fit that. And by the way, these ferrules come in 24 millimeters and 26 millimeters, or 26 and 24. Um, the base of them is the same, meaning the same thread in there. It's just the top part that's bigger. I found that the 24 millimeter knots actually work better in the 26 millimeter ferrules because sometimes the knots are uh, a little bit big. But if, if you can get the you know 24 and the 24s will work on on most knots. But uh, yeah, that's it. So you can take and mix and match. You have a totally modular uh, system. You have a real time adjustable loft on these things. Um, so I think that's the coolest shave brush going. I haven't seen anyone with stuff that cool. All right, so then I talked to him. I said, all right, if I make a video, Steve, you have to give them a discount. Dr. Matt discount, here we go. 
So what he's agreed to do, 15% discount. The cost of the, the, the standard with a knot is $79. He comes from China. He does charge a shipping fee. I think it's $8 or $10. But he's going to give 15% off Dr. Matt discount, discount code. He's going to give an extra ferrule. And he's going to give a synthetic knot. Um, I would not suggest his his badger knots. I, they're just they, they don't they don't lather real well. I mean he's aware of it. He just needs a, he's and, and looking for another uh, supplier for them. But he will uh, give you the, the the synthetic knot, which he usually charges more for. So he has those things. Um, like I said, fifteen percent discount. Uh, the extra ferrule, the synthetic knot. Um, and the way that you do it is since it's not set up on his website, what you can do is email him. Just email him and say, hey, Steve, you know, I watched Dr. Matt's video and uh, I'm interested in the deal that you have to offer. And his um, uh, uh, email is, the fuck is his email? His email is steve at alphashaving.com. Steve at alphashaving.com. Uh, you can email them. I'll also have the, the info down in the, in the description below. But uh, if there's anything else, email me. You can email, email me as usual, drmat 357 at hotmail.com. But, uh, yeah, if you're interested, uh, drop Steve a line. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you tuning in. Have a great day. And we'll see you real soon. All right. Hang on. It gets better. I just got off the phone with Steve, uh, the guy that owns the company. And... What he's agreed to do is sell the, the brush with the synthetic knot and the extra ferrule, $45 plus shipping. That's a gonga deal. If you want the badger brush, you can get it, but honestly, these ones are going to work better. And besides, I mean, I honestly didn't really buy it for the brush itself. I brought it, bought it for the versatility of the whole system. I think that's really the cool part. But um, if you want the if you want the badger, that's fine. You're just going to pay an extra like twenty dollars for it. But synthetic knot, the brush, extra ferrule, forty five dollars, gone. Good deal, guys. I hope you can take advantage of it. All right, that's it. Enjoy your night. We'll see you real soon.